Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and today we're going to be finishing up the Got a Food Box gift set which contains, oh, let me just back this up a little bit, which contains an undecorated junk journal for somebody to decorate and uh, we're basically done the major construction of everything. We've done the box, we've done the journal, we've done the ephemera pouch and now we're just going to put on the final touches. So, okay. Um, first of all, I think what we're going to do is, is everything organized here? Yes. Okay, we are going to guess, yes, we are going to ink the edges. I'm going to maybe remove the journal right for right now. And just, I'm going to call this the mouth. Um, got my, my brown dauber. And this is, can't read it, it's probably walnut stain. Distress ink. I'm just going to go around the edges. Now, you could completely just do this and that could be, could be considered done. But I think I'm going to add a little more to it. And I'm going to kind of over amplify what I'm doing here just so you can get an idea of what you can do. Just where we're having fun. We're just hanging out together crafting, right? Let's, it's just paper. Let's, let's do this. Okay, so that gives us a sense of finishedness to the edge of the box already. But if you want to zing it up a little bit, let's do that. All right, gone over into my little fabric scrap pile. <clears throat> and I pulled out some fabric scraps and I just want to see if anything comes together with the way the look I want on here. I don't know yet if I'm going to wrap it right over or just have it edging. <clears throat> Excuse me, but I think I might just do edging. I'll just see what kind of look I've got going on here. Trying things on for size probably would snip a very tiny piece of this. Also this would be a very tiny piece around the edge. Mm, that one might actually, because it's so thin, might have to go over. Could do that. At least on either side. Whoop, there's that. He belongs to the ephemera. Okay, so <clears throat> we also have some nice pretty thin uh, muslin. That would be pretty. And could even do it as a, like a torn look wrapped over. That's kind of pretty. Um, do I have enough of that? I have enough of this, I think. No, I don't have, do I have enough? You don't know. That's not the right color. No, we won't use that one. Okay, so this is part of the sifting method. This is a craft with me. That means that this isn't pre-thought. This is me muddling through and you getting to see the process. Woohoo! Okay, so it's not like I'm swooping in in my Batmobile where everything is ready. Nope, 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 nope. This is just crafting on the fly. That's kind of pretty. I like that. Um, not sure I found what I was looking for, so let me go deeper. I'm going to try this. I made these uh, twines from torn fabric. They're very fun. And those could be glued around the edge. Whoop, can't see. That would be very pretty. I like that. That could be glued right around the edge. Is it long enough? Probably not. I have these tied together. Uh, let me see if I have one that's long enough. Nope. Uh, uh, what are you? Maybe. Maybe. Not the right color scheme, though. That's not bad. All right, that could do it. This we, we, we have a potential contender here. It's a little uh, different colored all the way around. Well, yeah, but that could possibly work. You're you're a possibility. Okay, let me look you, put you in the land of possibility. <clears throat> here is a oh this is a long colored one, so that would bring a little color into it, and it's colored all the way around. It's just not the right color, you know. So I'm not going to go with that one. You're out. You're out. You're too short. You're not really the right color. Nope, too fat. You belong over there. And none of you qualify. You are the only contender, but you are <clears throat> not truly the right color. We go further. Okay, I'm, I'm back with a few different contenders. Putting the fabric aside. I've got some laces and I've also got some seam binding that is nice and flat. It's still on the container. Let's see what a gray would look like. Put you over there for a second. Okay. Mm, no, too too plain, plain and boring. Green. I don't know. No, 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 no. Okay, so this is it's like a trial and error, and there's no rush, so we can all take our time and just enjoy the process. Um, I have some of these torn bed sheets. These are kind of cool with uh, just rubber stamps on them. That could definitely work. Of course, this one's not long enough, but I might have one that is. All right, let's see. Which are you? Nope, not long enough. And not long enough. 
Oh, not long enough. <laughs> it's a classic case of not long enough. That's all right. Let's see if I luck out here. Nope, little strips. See, sometimes it's good to have a longer strip. Are you a longer strip? Nope. They're all shorty. Okay, so those are out. Now the next thing is, this is not long enough, but that would have been kind of cool. Just going around the edge with something like that. But not, not exactly right. No, I want something that's at least going to be flush on the edge. Too short. Oh, this is probably too frilly. No, this one's long enough, of course. And I'd have to flip all those over the right way. Everybody get organized. Nobody's organized. That would be... That's kind of pretty. Hmm. That is kind of pretty, isn't it? I don't know. Could go all the way around. A lot of hoo-ha to deal with here. I know. I know. A lot of what not to deal with here. Okay. Better word. <laughs> Nah, no, no, no. Okay, then we have this. This was another backup. This was like a string of flat back roses. This could be glued all the way around. And I do have enough. That is kind of pretty. Oh, and it fits sort of, sort of perfectly. Maybe we'll go with that. Now, yeah. yeah, there's something, there's something, something. Maybe I need to union two of these together. I need to cover this somehow. Nope, not sure. Hold on. Okay, I came across this light gold, probably a Christmas thread or something. And I thought, it, I wonder, I don't know if it's going to stay. That's the question. I'm gluing it right onto the edge, like right on top. I'm going to try it. Let's see what happens. Let's just see. Okay, we're going in. Let me go a little closer. Is that, is that could, hang on, let me go closer. Okay. With this Fabrifix glue, clear silicone glue, fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper. And we'll have to get the glue flowing and then get it to be glued before it dries. We could do a partial way around and then come back and finish it. But I think it... I think we're going to be all right. I'm, I'm putting like, not sparse glue, but I want it to be generous enough where that thing is going to stick. Somebody's going to be pulling stuff in and out of here, which makes me rethink that little paper clip on the front of the embellishment pouch. Okay, now the question is, where do you start? Let's give it a nice flush end. Come on, Pam, the glue is drying. Hurry up. Okay. All right. Let's try this. Okay, we'll start there. Go around. All right, we're on. All right. Eh? Well, so far so good. All right. Eh? 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 Okay. I get it in the corner there, Pam. All right, in the corner. Straight away. We're on a straight away. Go down and glue it down. Okay. I like it. I like the way it looks. Around. Get the corners well. Get glue on your fingers, that's par for the course, and you know you're doing it right. Let's see if I cut this off at the right amount. That's probably too long. It's too long. You can take a little more off. Don't go short, Pam. Don't go short. Okay. All right, there we go. Oh, okay, yep. Down there. All right, now. I'm going to tap it all down. Make sure it's in the corners well. And... It's kind of like I dipped it in glitter or something. That's what it feels like. I'm going to glue this little end there. I just feel like where the two connect, I would like to super glue it. Not with super glue, just with extra glue. All right. And it's got, you're going to be all behaved. Okay. Now, let's take a look what we have. Oh, isn't that sophisticated? Yes, looking very lovely. Very lovely. That was pretty easy. I don't know if it'll stay, but what I think I'm going to do, I'm a little journal and I think it's okay, but this little like clump of love on the here, I'm just going to take that paper clip with the clump of love in it. I'm going to take everything and paper clip it together as it was. And then I'm going to paper clip it to something like in the middle here, like this paper doll head. 
and um, there. Now it's not going, there's no impediment. We want no impediment, okay? So we're going to let that dry. I need to go down better. I see you popping up there. Okay. So far so good. You need a little more, yep. Need a little more glue here on aisle seven. Okay, got it. I see you. Totally see you. That's part of the final check. You go around, you make sure all your little areas are securely glued down, glued down. And a weird thing here. What's that? <laughs> little, uh, little, uh, little extra dab will do you right here. All right. Down. Good. Good. Okay, we're liking it. Yep. Oh, I think I should have inked those. So this is just the little final touches. Let me back up a little bit so you can see. Um, some folks were asking how I, I zoom in and out. Well, that's me manually moving the desk arm to which my um, Samsung phone, smartphone, is attached to. And I use an S21 Ultra Samsung Plus or something like that. I don't know. S21 Ultra Plus, I think it's called. Um, and it's a glue glob. Okay. Yeah, just getting that little edging. Yeah. A little more um, antiquing. There we go. That's what we're doing. Antiquing the bottom a little bit. Maybe a little look like it was a little weathered. Yeah. There we go. No, we don't need you anymore. Go away. Okay. That little connection spot. Okay. There we go. Better. Okay. So now we got that done. That was pretty easy. I don't know. Should I put it? Should I put it there? Or is that going to be too much? Nah, I don't, something tells me don't do it there. It's something's telling me. Just leave, leave well enough be, Pam. Just leave it be. Now, we're going to move along. I'm going to move my two elements over here. It's really hard for me not to decorate these. That's all I have to say. I'm going to put them over here so that somebody else can decorate. And that's all down. I'm going to do some focal points. Okay, I've decided this is the way it's going to rest. This is the front. This is the back. This is the bottom. This is the top. I want the journal to load this way and the pouch to load this way. I don't think they'll fit upright the right way. They have to lay down. Yeah, but you could. You could do that. I mean, there's nothing that says you can't do that. It's a little taller and stuff sticks out and that's like a little... That's cute too for presentation purposes, right? Very cute. Maybe I'll, I kind of like it like that. Maybe we'll do that. Stagger them a little bit. Oh, you know what else you could do? You could put, um, like, pencils and stuff in there. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. Oh, that would be really cool. Um, hang on. I'm in the pen drawer looking for a pencil. It is a pencil. You know? I mean, okay, they're not the greatest pencils, but it, for example purposes, you could put, like, a couple pencils in there. And maybe, maybe a pen. You could put a pen in, too, maybe. Somebody wants to write with a pen. I don't know, some pen. Here's a pen. Okay, get in there. All right. Oh, that's kind of cute. Now we got like a little kit going. Oh, I'm liking this. You could even, I'm not, I'm not going to keep this in there because this is, this is my ruler, but you could put in like a little ruler, a little baby tearing ruler. Oh, how cute is that, right? Now you've got pencils and pens and baby tearing ruler. Should I leave it in there? I don't know. Let's see. I haven't decided yet. I could get, probably get another one, but we'll see. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. But um, so this is the front. This is the back. And now we want to do some sort of, maybe I'm going to turn it this way because I have a small dent here. Let's see if I can get that dent out. These are the things that you have to do when you're creating. Okay. Going in here. And I, the box was pushed on on this side. Okay, there was a small animal that tried to get into the granola box. Her name was Pam. And, oh, look, I'm taking that off. Okay, you need to stick down there. And you need to stick well. And I don't want to ever hear from you again. You're just going to be where I put you. You're going to become one with the box. Right? One with the box. That's it. You are there forevermore. Okay. Maybe we'll call you the back. And maybe we'll cover that with something. This is a nice front. Now I thought it might be fun to put a focal point on the front of the box. Now we could do a couple things. I was, okay, I've just got some example, um, let me back up just a little bit. Example digi kits here. And this is a brownish background. So I thought maybe something white would pop out nicely on there. That would be nice. And I have these telephone, these are kind of cool. 
these telephone digikit pictures, which are kind of cool. That's cool. Um, and then you could also add some personage to it. One of these pictures. That's kind of cool. You could keep, even go with a, uh, a blue. That would be pretty. That's kind of cool. I like the black and white, though. There's something about the black and white. It's striking. I think it's kind of kind of cool. Okay, so I'm just trying these on for size, looking for a picture that might speak to us. That's a duplicate. That was a dupe. That's a dupe. We already saw that. Oh, these are cool. That, that cool old phone right there, that kind of looks really cool. This one does too. Maybe I'll put one, one phone on each side. That might be kind of neat. And that way this could be a, yeah, this could be a notebook that sits beside the house phone. There is no such thing as a house phone anymore. It's rare to find it anymore. We could also do horses. That would be pretty. We could do this cream-colored horse. That would be nice. Although I do like the idea of the phone. And then here's the 1930s pictures. You could just go with something very like feminine here and do the ballerinas. That would be pretty. But the coloring is not exactly what I'm looking for. More black and white. Well, not quite black and white. Oh, how about these bathing suit girls? They are adorable. That would look really cute. And we could also put something under them to emphasize what they are. And I love this the look on these two ladies' faces. Doesn't that say everything? That's like, uh, she's like, wait a minute, dear. What are you thinking? Don't do it. The other one's like, oh, but he's so wonderful. I'm just going to... And she's like, no, think twice. <laughs> right, right. Okay, fighting, dueling, bathing suit women from the 30s. That's an awesome show. I think that's really cool. Um, that might be something. I kind of like them. And the ballerina is cute too. Okay, make it, oh, this girl's pretty. Okay, if I had to make a decision right now, I do like these ladies. I think they're kind of sassy. I'm going to, I'm going to use the ladies and a phone. That's what I'm going to do. Use the, those ladies and this white phone. Okay, so I'm going to attempt, uh, maybe I can use a fancy scissor. Get me fancy scissors. Where are you? Here's one. This is uh, Fiskar Majestic. Probably got it at a thrift store. Let's just see if we can cut this out in a nice, pretty sort of way. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh. Okay. Okay. All right, there we go. We have this now. Oh, that looks really pretty, doesn't it? It just really sets off nicely there. I think that's nice. And I don't think I need to ink it because the white against the brown sets it off very nicely. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and glue it down. All right. Getting it relatively close to the edges. Oops. Good old Fabrifix glue. Going around. Okay. Oops, sorry. And you can you can kind of fan it out to the edges with the old finger trick to make sure all your edges. Of course you get glue all over your fingers, but you know, it works in a pinch. Um, try for middle. Okay, there we go. And if you get a little on the outside, you, you get a chance to roll it off. That's the nice thing about this glue. If you catch it before it dries. And it rolls off pretty nicely if it oozed. Yeah. Because it, it, it always oozes on me a little bit. Okay, so there we go. So we have that on the front. Although these, these girls are really cute. Maybe we should just go with all girls. Although I do like the phone. I like the phone. Maybe we're going to go with the phone. Okay, we have girls on one side, phone on the other. All right, I just, I really like that phone. Okay. I'll just sacrifice a little of the picture below. Okay. What fussy cutting is this girl doing, huh? Lickety split. Like she knows what she's doing and she has no idea. Um, I think that's what they said is... You know, just if you don't know what you're doing, just look really confident. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
and carry on. There's a lot of that going on right here. Oh, that's a really pretty picture. This one, the girl. Oh, that's so pretty. Not the right color though. I want more contrast. Yeah, I think that's nice. Okay, so we're just gonna go with that. And that will get our two sides covered. And we've decorated the top of the box. And I think I wanna do one little thing to the journal, just cause I don't know, it's, it's nibbling at my heart to do it. I probably shouldn't do it, but I'm going to do it. Oh, I shouldn't do it, but I want to do it. Okay. All right, here we go. Yeah. Okay. So now there's like a weirdness down here where this dent is. I'm still not liking that dent. I'm trying to refold the box to pooch it out a little bit. So be careful when you're, you know, blasting through your granola boxes, like the rabid animal that I was hungry going in. Um, I would say, I need a, I got a little paper tear there, so I'm gonna cover it brown. Okay. I would say this is holding as, as long as I would let it, the glue grab. Yeah, if I just walk away and let the glue grab, it'll be just fine. And I might wanna put something down here. Maybe can, I can use one of those somethings that I had earlier, and I had a few somethings. So maybe I'm just gonna like cover the bottom and something like, like this. It has to be, no, that's too high. That's too wide. How about this was, this was, oh, that's kind of pretty. It's a little narrower. No, a little too thick. All right, we'll carry on. We're looking. And now we have a couple options here. We have, oh, we have all of this. Oh, oh this has a rubber, a rubber stamp on it that says this book belongs to. That's kind of cool. Across the bottom. It doesn't even have to go across the whole way. It could even just be in the middle. Oh, that would be really, really cool. Yes, I think we found the answer to the problem. I think we did. Yes, we got it going now. Okay. All right, so this is just regular muslin bed sheet that's been washed, torn into strips, and then I took a rubber stamp that said that and stuck it on it. So that little area, which looks bonkers, I'm just going to, I'm going to do that. I think that looks really cool. Should I ink this? Part of me wants to. Part of me says no. I'm going to say no. I'm saying no. Sometimes you have to step up and be counted. All right. I think I'm going to use Fabrifix. Okay. I should probably glue on this. Okay. I could have glued on the thing, but I want to, I want to do some smooshing with the finger smoosh so that we get it. No, I don't, I don't want the glue to bleed through and this will help. Prevent some bleed through the solid because they'll get it to the edges. So there we go. I'm trying to trying for center. Not right at the bottom, but pretty darn close. Okay. Yep. I think that looks kind of cool. Yeah. All right. So, and we can keep decorating the outside of the box. I mean, really, there's no limit. You can make it as ornate or as neutral as you so choose. Did I tell you that that's going to dry better when I stop playing with it? Yeah. It is. Just get out of there, Pam. Okay, I'm out. We could keep going. I mean, really. um, I do like this, though. That's really starting to look pretty. I know what I want to do. I know what it is now. Hold on. Wait, don't, don't go anywhere. Wait, just stay with me. <laughs> I won't go anywhere. How about that? Um, we could take some of these little hoo-ha things. I know. The whatnots. They're like little... Little viney things. Let me cut a few of these off. See if we want to stick any of these in here. Where's my scissors? Just had them. Not those. We'll just use these. Okay, these are here. We get a couple of these. Sometimes when you buy a string of these things, you get a lot. So if you're looking for lace, or I don't even know what you call these things. Is this crochet? Is this lace? What is this thing? It's, it's just got a lot on it. And um, that means that you, have, you can take a, a lot of it apart and just use bits and pieces of it which is kind of cool. I'll just take you right off. I don't even know what you are hanging on there on the side. Okay, so. What we could, what, oh. All right, could do something like that. Oh, you're so far away. What are you doing way up there? Okay, it's just a little something. You know, it's, just, it's just a little something, it's not much. It's just a little something. Oh, there's some extra glue. I am now rolling off. 
And I like that. I think I'm going to put that on there. I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to glue on this side. Look at there's a right side and a wrong side to these things. And make sure you get the top piece and the bottom piece. Okay. That, that's cute. Look how cute as a button that is. Right? We need another one in the little kitty corner. Um, we'll do a different shaped one. Maybe this one. Flip it that way. Like that. Oh, something like that looks look pretty, right? Yeah, let's do that. I know you agree. I can hear you. You're like, do it, do it. I know, I'm putting it on here. That makes no sense because I don't know what I'm gluing. Try and glue on here if you can. Little dabs here and there. And this is the part we call hope for the best. We hope it goes in the right spot. It looks so pretty before. It looks a little different now, but that's okay. All right, there we go. Cute, huh? I know. Okay, so we could keep going and do more there. We're going to do more over here. Maybe we should, should we? Maybe we'll do something different over here. Maybe we're going to use these things. Oh, come here. Oh, maybe we'll put one in each corner. That would be nice. Let's do that. Okay. Okay, let me get a set of four. So we can make these like, whoop, what the heck was that? One went a wall. Got some fuzz. I'm removing fuzz. Now I'm just going to separate these. They're little flat back roses. They're plastic flat back roses. You could also use buttons. That would look cute. That would look very cute. Let me see what this looks like. Or is it overkill? Okay. Get down there. I like it. It kind of looks like it's a presentation. Um, um, almost like a picture presentation. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to, just going to do it. One, two, three. These are easy to work with. They'll glue well. They have a lot of flat back, so there we go. Not back fat, flat back. Nobody said back fat. Okay, I heard you. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, how we do? Yeah, I like that. Okay, so now we have this. Let's make sure they look even. Pretty good. All right, got those. And then we have this. Maybe we need to put some of these. Maybe. Oh, here I go. Like I'm going to overdo it. Okay. Maybe this. Maybe we need two on this side just to unify everything. Here I go, unifying. This is actually the fun part. Just adding those little extra. Now, here I am doing it here, which makes no sense. But another dob's going to need two dobs. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Down you go. And down you go. All right, you got to talk to your crafts. They listen. They do. All right, there we go. We have that. You need to come down a little bit more. You need to go in up a little bit more. Oh, that's really cute, isn't it? And then let's look at this side. Oh, that's really cute. Okay, so then we have this. I, uh, I think, where's the journal? I was going to do one last thing to the journal. Where's the journal? Here it is. Okay, this is it. Probably shouldn't do this but I am going to round the edges of the cover. Let me back up a little. Okay, there I am. Eh? Probably should have done it first, but no, no. Coming in at the 11th hour for the cover rounding. Yeah. And my stuff is recessed enough. That was a lousy cut. Um, have you finally had... Oh, it wasn't out all the way. Yeah, that was better. Can we go back in there and... Redo this one. All right. Well, it's as good as it gets. And this one, the uh, signatures are recessed enough. I think that it's going to hide everything. There we go. So now it has a round, rounded corners, which I think are very nice. <laughs> I do say so myself. Okay. So I'm going to say 
that this is the front. I don't know why, maybe this is the front. You could decide. But I have a bigger section and a smaller section. So I think the smaller section is going to house the journal. And the bigger section is going to house the little chubby ephemera pack. Then I'm going to place my, my pencils and my pen and my ruler as, you know, extra things. Maybe somebody might enjoy. And there you go. There we have it. A nice little gift set. Uh, perfect for giving. Um, this would be fun for craft shows, for church bazaars, for gift giving to family, friends, pet sitters, teachers, any uh, anybody actually who wouldn't who wouldn't want this. <laughs> I think it's really cool. I might just sit it here on my desk for a while and just just enjoy it. Um, so there you go, folks. Um, if you don't know, I do have fabric packs for sale right now. They are available in my Etsy shop. I do have a limited supply, so if you're interested in them, I suggest you uh, purchase sooner than later. Um, once they're gone, they're gone. And there's uh, 40 plus pieces of a variety of fabrics inside, um, eight and a half by 10, and then smaller pieces. Um, you will get a triple bonus with the fabric packs. You're going to get um, a, an old uh, letter with handwriting. You're going to get some ads torn from newspapers that were vintage. And you're going to get some vintage postage stamps. So a triple bonus with the fabric that you can have a lot of fun playing with. And um, there you go. Those are ready to ship. And we have our little... No, he's not here. I got to go get him. Hold on. Sunny? Sunny? Where are you? Oh, guess what? He's not over by the, is that you? No, it's a toy. Well, here you are on the floor. Oh, I know it looked like it was time for belly rubs, but it's not. It's going to work time. Do you know where you're going to work? Pup date. Yes, very good. I know, Mom. I know. Okay. <clears throat> and you want to give a big report on, like, okay, you just, you tell him. Okay, you don't need me anymore. You're a big boy. Hello, everybody, sunshine. I am happy to report. I survived the vet visit. Not, it, it wasn't bad, okay? Like I did, all my parts came home. I was glad about that. Uh, I did get a shot or two. I don't know exactly how many, but they took me in the back and I was separated from mother. Didn't like that one bit. And I had no choice in the matter. I was whisked away in some loving arms of some lovely... Whoop, I'm out of here again. Okay, what's over there? Oh, look at that. There's your computer screen, Mom. That's really neat. What you got on your desk? Stuff? Okay, great. I'm back now. Okay, so they harpooned me with something. Don't know what it was. I seem to be fine. I'm not running a temperature. I still have my appetite. Going to the bathroom normally. So... All checks and balances are in place. Life is good. There may, may have been some extra treats from mom because of my harrowing experience at the vet. It wasn't that bad. Um, and um, that's it. That's all I got to report. Sunshine survived the vet and he's home. <laughs> okay. So we're having a snuggly night, right? Yes. It's very, a lot of snuggles and cuddles. We like cuddles. We're all about the cuddles. There can never be too many cuddles. No, especially in the belly area. Yeah, we really like that. Okay, I got the message. Um, all right, son. Well, you want to I wish everybody happy crafting? Happy crafting, everybody. Okay, they'll see you next time then. All right, I'll be back. Put me in my basket, Mom. Okay, he's there. He's fine. All is well. Um, so thank you, everybody. If you are new, welcome. If you've been here, welcome back. Oh, that's what I should have been saying all along. Um, if you don't know, I have a free monthly email newsletter. Okay, I'm going to let you look at... No, you don't want to look at that. We'll look at this. It's prettier. Okay, so clean up your desk. Make it look somewhat... Okay, don't look at any of that. Let me make the picture smaller. There. Oh, yeah, see, that stuff doesn't even exist now. I'll just slide you over here. Um, <laughs> um, okay, so... Um, and you could even fill in somebody's name, you know, if you, if you, if you like, you have a person. If you have a person, you could put their name here. Um, if you don't know, I have a free month. I told you about that. Did I? No. Free monthly emailed newsletter. You get a free digital image emailed to you every month if you sign up for it. A new one. And there's a freebie section in the bottom, which contains the digital image in a couple different formats. So you can play with it and do things with it and use it in your artwork. And... 
you get a note from the bookmaker, which explains what a junk journal is and how to use it. You get a checklist of supplies when you're meandering the world. You can find, keep your peepers open for these babies so you can uh, drag them home and use them in your junk journals. And you get a page list of ideas to help you break that blank page when you just don't know what to do and it's staring back at you. And uh, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcast, new audio material, comes out Tuesdays and Thursdays. And you can watch video podcasts all the time, all the other days of the week, and probably on Tuesdays and Thursdays, too, if you want to, on Spotify. And I have an Etsy shop where you can find journals and bundles and kits and fundles and, and all sorts of fun things and, um, for sale. My digi kits are for sale in there. They're printable, downloadable images. They're five pages each. Um, you print them out at home and uh, then you can use them any way you like in your artwork uh, for journal cards, journal tucks, pockets, etc. Uh, yeah, if you didn't have a bunch of ephemera, you could just take a bunch of digi kits and cut them up and use them as journal cards and they could write on the back and things like that but this gives them pretty images uh, to work with and they're themed there's over 200 themes right now and um, I think we saw today 1930s telephone vintage maybe horses can't remember the name of it horse something <laughs> oh man too many digits. okay um, you can never have too many digits. Okay, so I have fundals, which are collections of old and interesting papers. So if you would like to play with the old and interesting papers, they come in a pack of 100, a variety, and uh, that has free shipping with it, um, 100 plus pieces in there, and um, that's called a fundal with an F. I have a print and mail service. If you do like the DigiKit idea, but you don't have a printer or don't want to print, I will print out 10 DigiKits for you. That gives you 50 printed pages on nice lightweight cardstock, this this thickness. And um, they're great to use for focal points or, or um, whatever you like in your artwork. And also, um, ba -ba -da -ba. All I need from you is to buy the print and mail option and then just send me your list of DigiKit names and you can do that by sending the list to pam at the That's my email address or through Etsy message. You don't need to buy each individual di DigiKit. Just buy the print and mail option and then send me your list of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10. Okay. And then I have an Amazon shop. If you're looking for favorite tools and supplies, you're going to find uh, links to things in there. Um, that does help my shop, but you do not pay more for the items for using those links. So thank you very much for those of you who have used the links. And also I have a t-shirt shop. If you like the phrase create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise, you can get that on a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, a zip hoodie, a mug, a tote, or a water bottle. And you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, or Facebook group. Come and join the Paper Outpost Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges, as well as seeing what you guys make from these very videos. It's very inspirational, and we send out a big heartwarming thanks to our admins and mods for helping us um, keep the place a happy and safe place for you all. Remember, most of all, that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, like out of a food box. Um, take care, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye.